In this video, I will explain the difference between a walk, a trail, and a path as it relates to graphs. So, a walk is a sequence of vertices and edges in which each edge connects consecutive vertices. So, if we take a look at this graph that I've created down here, let's check out an example of a walk. Let's say we start at vertex A right here, and let's say we move to vertex B, then we move to vertex D, then to E, and then maybe we go back to D, and then maybe we go back to B, that would be an example of a walk. Now, the way that we can write a walk is by using the names of the vertices and arrows connecting them. So here's how we can write the walk that we just did. We started at vertex A, then we went to B, and then we went to D, and then to E, and then back to D, and then we ended at B. So this is an example of a walk. Now, an example of something that wouldn't be a walk would be like this. A, B, C, D. So why would this not be an example of a walk? Well, if we consider our graph right here, if we go from A to B, that's perfectly valid, but then this walk says we need to go from B to C. Notice that there is no edge connecting B and C. So this is not even possible. This walk is not even possible. So this sequence would be an example of something that is not a walk. So a walk is pretty straightforward. You're just moving from one vertex to the next using edges. And you're allowed to visit every edge as many times as you want. And you're allowed to visit every vertex as many times as you want. All right, now let's consider what is a trail. Well, a trail is just a walk where no edges are repeated. So let's check out an example of that. Let's say we started at vertex A, and then we went to B, then we went to D, then to E, and then to B. This would be an example of a trail. So let's write that out. So here is the trail that we just made. And we'll notice that when we went on this trail, we didn't repeat any of the edges. So we went from A to B to D to E back to B. So we didn't repeat any edge more than once. Now, we did repeat this vertex B. We visited this vertex twice, but that's okay. That's allowed. So that is considered a trail. Now let's consider what is a path. Well, a path is a trail where no vertex is repeated in addition to no edge being repeated, except the starting or ending vertex. So as an example of a path, let's say we start at vertex A, then we move to B, then D, then E, and then we stop there. That would be an example of a path because no edge is visited more than once and no vertex is visited more than once. So let's write that down. So that would be an example of a path. Now, one thing we'll notice about walks, trails, and paths is that every path is a trail and a walk, and every trail is a walk. So you can think of it as going from a walk to a path, we're getting more restrictive in our definition, or we're getting more specific about the requirements that we have to meet. All right, now as a little extra practice, let's consider this graph right here, and let's determine if each of these three sequences are walks, trails, or paths. So let's consider this first sequence. It says we start at vertex A, then we move to B, then to C, then to D, then to B. So for this particular sequence, we can see that no edge was repeated, but we did visit vertex B more than once. So this particular sequence meets the requirements for a walk and a trail. Because remember, for a trail, no edge can be repeated. And in this particular sequence, we did not repeat any edge. But we did repeat a vertex, so this would not be a path. So for this one, we'll say this is a trail. And if we'd like to, we can also note that it's also a walk, since every trail is a walk. Now let's consider this second sequence right here. So this says we start at vertex E, we go to C, we go back to E, then we go to D, then we go back to E. So for this particular sequence, we visited two edges more than once, and we visited vertex E multiple times. So this one only meets the requirement for a walk. It doesn't meet the requirements for a trail or a path. So we'll say walk for this one. And then let's consider this last sequence. So it says we start at vertex C, then we move to B, then to A, then to D, and then lastly to E. So for this particular sequence, we can see that no edge was visited more than once and no vertex was visited more than once. So this meets the requirements for a path. And by definition, every path is also a trail, and every trail is also a walk. So we would say that this sequence is all three. It's a path and a trail and a walk. So those were just a few different examples of how to determine if a sequence is a walk, a trail, or a path as it relates to graphs.